Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Capablanca and Emmanuel Lasca, played in 1921. This is actually a game from the Lasca Capablanca World Championship match played in Havana, Cuba in 1921. Capablanca had white pieces and he started with d4. Emmanuel Lasca played d5. Knight to f3. Knight to f6. c4. Queen's gambit. Queen's gambit declined. Bishop to g5, pinning the knight. Knight from b to d7. e3. Bishop to e7. Knight to c3. Lasca castled kingside. Rook to c1. The popular mine line. This is even in 21st century the most popular move. b6, intending bishop to b7. c takes on d5, e takes on d5. Queen to a4, c5. Perhaps bishop to b7 would be a good alternative move. We have c5. Queen to c6, attacking the rook. Rook to b8. Knight takes pawn on d5. Interesting. Kappa goes pawn grabbing. Bishop to b7. Perhaps knight takes knight on d5 should have been considered. And after queen takes on d5, bishop to b7. Bishop takes on e7, queen takes on e7. This may have been better for black. Back to our game. We have bishop to b7, but now knight takes bishop on e7 check. Queen to e7, queen to a4. Rook from b to c8, perhaps c takes on d4 should have been considered. We have rook from b to c8, queen to a3. In Capablanca's opinion, this move is the key of white's whole plan. The main point was to be able to play bishop to a6. This move also prevents c takes on d4. Queen to e6. Bishop takes knight on f6, according to Capablanca, this exchange had to be made before putting the plan into execution. Queen takes bishop. What else? If knight takes on f6, d takes on c5. Back to our game, we have queen takes bishop. Perhaps bishop takes knight should have been considered too. Back to our game. Queen takes bishop. Bishop to a6. This is the critical position of the game. Black to move. Emmanuel Lasca thought over half an hour before deciding on this continuation. He played bishop, takes bishop on f3, sacrificing the exchange. Capablanca said it is not only the best move, but it shows at the same time the fine hand of the master. An ordinary player would never have thought of giving up the exchange in order to keep the initiative in this position, which was really the only reasonable way in which he could hope to draw the game. Bishop takes rook. Let's take it back. If bishop takes on a6, then queen takes on a6. And indeed, white is better. So we have bishop takes knight, bishop takes rook, rook takes bishop, pawn takes bishop, queen takes pawn attacking the rook, rook to g1, rook to e8, queen to d3, g6, king to f1. Capablanca in his notes said, the play here was extremely difficult. I probably did not find the best system of defense. I cannot tell which was the best defense here. But it was my belief that with the best play, white should win. The game continued. Rook to e4. Perhaps knight to f6 would be a better move. Rook to e4. Queen to d1. Maybe d takes on c5 should have been considered. Queen to d1 was played. Queen to h3, check, rook to g2, knight to f6, king to g1, c takes on d4, rook to c4, pinning the pawn, d takes on e3, rook takes rook, knight takes rook, queen to d8, check, king to g7, queen to d4, check, knight to f6, f takes on e3, queen to e6, rook to f2, g5, h4 pawn takes pawn on h4 according to kappa it was not the best move 
Capablanca in his notes, Capablanca said that king to g6 would be the best move for black. Back to our game. G takes on h4 was played, queen takes pawn, knight to g4 attacking the rook, queen to g5 check, king to f8, rook to f5, not the best move according to Capablanca. He said that rook to d2 would be a better move. Okay, rook to f5 was played. h5, queen to d8. Well, Capablanca didn't like queen takes pawn on h5 because of queen takes pawn on e3 check. So we have queen to d8 check, king to g7, queen to g5 check, king to f8, queen to d8 check, king to g7, queen to g5 check, king to f8, now Capablanca can go for a draw, instead he played b3 to see what black will play, again he didn't like queen takes on h5 because queen takes on e3, so we have b3, queen to d6, queen to f4, an offer to exchange queens, queen to d1 check, queen to f1, queen to d7, Rook takes pawn on h5, knight takes pawn on e3, attacking the queen, queen to f3, still defending d1 square, queen to d4, threatening some kind of discovered check, queen to a8, check, king to e7, queen to b7, black to move. What would you do? Would you play king to f8 or king to f6? Hmm? With seconds on the clock, Alaska blunders and plays king to f8. King to f6 would be a better move, and black would have a chance for a draw. King to f8 was played, white move. White played a move and black resigned. Please pause and find the best move for white in this position. The move is queen to b8. Black resigned. If king goes to e7, then rook to e5 check is also winning. So is queen to e5 check. And after queen takes queen, rook takes queen check. And white wins the knight. And let's go back. If king goes to g7, then queen to h8 check. King to g6 and then white plays the obvious. What is the obvious? Queen to h6, check, mate. According to the chess experts, Laska never fully recovered from the shock of this game. The final score of the match was Capablanca 9, Laska 5. Capablanca was crowned the third world champion. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.